What's up travelers, SJ Aviation HQ here, welcome back to another video, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing the model review of the American Airlines Boeing 777-300ER by Gemini Jets. This model here was released alongside the Lufthansa Cargo 777 Freighter in the June 2022 release, and I'm very very happy to be doing this model for you guys today, the model review of it. Before we go ahead any further into the video, if you are new to the channel, welcome to SJ Aviation HQ. If you like this sort of content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel below and also ding that bell icon next to the subscribe button for future content on this channel. Before we go ahead and show you the box though of this of this model, I'm going to read out some information about American Airlines as an airline and a little bit of uh, in, uh, interesting information about the aircraft and the operator of the aircraft, so giving you some information about when the aircraft was delivered and what engines are on this aircraft. American Airlines is a major US-based airline headquartered in Fort Worth, Texas. It is the world's largest airline when measured by fleet size, scheduled passenger passengers carried, and revenue by passenger mile. Together with its regional partners and affiliates, American Airlines operates an extensive international and domestic network, with almost 6,800 flights per day to nearly 350 destinations across 50 countries worldwide. According to PlanSplitters.net, American Airlines has a total, total aircraft fleet of 918 aircraft, including 67 of the Boeing 777s, which is 47 uh, 200 ERs and 20 of the, of the Dash 300 ERs. On February 1, 1999, American Airlines was one of the founding members of the One World Alliance, alongside British Airways, Canadian Airlines International, Cathay Pacific Airways, and Qantas. To go and introduce some information about the aircraft now. This the MSM number or the manufacturer serial number of this aircraft that we're looking at today is 33538. This aircraft's line number is 1377, which means that this aircraft here was the 1377th Triple Seven to roll out at Boeing. This aircraft here is a Boeing Triple Seven 300 ER, specifically a 323 ER, because 23 is the Boeing customer code for American Airlines. Um, this aircraft here performed its first flight on February the 18th, 2016, and as of today, of the date of recording, this aircraft here is 6.5 years old. This aircraft here was built and produced at Everett's Painfield, and this aircraft is currently active, which means it's current, currently operating with air patients on board. So the registration of this aircraft that we're looking at today is November 736 Alpha Tango, it is again, again a 777-300ER, of course a, a 323ER, and of course ER standing for extended range. It was delivered to American Airlines on March the 1st, 2016, and is equipped with two General Electric GE90-115 Bravo engines. And this aircraft here was ferried between Painfield and Dallas-Fort Worth on March the 1st, 2016, the day it was delivered on a delivery flight and was stored at, at Tulsa International Airport between March the 23rd and June the 4th of 2020. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and check out the box. So here we have a pretty standard Gemini Jets box, to be honest. Uh, on the top left corner, we've got the Gemini Jets logo, very nice indeed. Moving along, we've got the, one of the taglines for Gemini Jets, made for collectors by collectors. Here we have in the middle, we've got the 2D rendering of the aircraft, the American Airlines 777. 300ER. At the bottom we've got the aircraft type and here we have the American Airlines logo, very nice indeed. And here we have the scale of the aircraft, wonderful in scale. Here we have the one of what I think one of, is one of the um the cool fit, uh, things about the Gemini Jets boxes is that they have a, a look inside tab. So you can literally just put up the tab there and that's where the model will be sitting in. But of course here in the tab we've got some nice details about the Triple seven. Um, so you want to go ahead and pause pause the video right about now to read the read this. Go ahead and do that. So sweet. And some and here we have some what well, pretty much what I just read out just before. And then we have some specific specifications in the imperial measurement of the side view and tail view, uh, the top view of the aircraft. Very cool indeed. And that's cool. And on the Bottom of the box here, the bottom panel, we've got the Gemini Jets logo just here, and uh, a bit of details about what, what Gemini Jets do in terms of their models, very cool. On the right panel, we've got the Gemini Jets logo, 
um, the item number there and the scale of the aircraft and the 2D rendering of the aircraft as well and the aircraft type here is the top panel, Gemini Jets logo warning information and the barcode on the left panel it's pretty much identical to the right side and I'll show, I think I showed you the, the bottom panel but here, here, here it is again on the back panel though we have the aircraft here climbing at a very steep angle here we have the Gemini Jets logo just there a little bit of information about what Gemini Jets do I mean Gemini Jets to me is, is a very good company indeed in terms of what they do they provided us with, with a hobby for, for as long as they have um, almost 20 years or maybe even longer than that um, so I do kind of think um, Gemini Jets uh, could um, get, I mean they need to, the people need to get, give them a break I, I think I mean yes they've done some things in the past and yes they are pretty pop, um, um, vocal and, and things that they do but I think they just need to, uh, people need, need to give them a break and here we have the, the um, social handles here uh, the website, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter go ahead and check them out here's the licensing for the Boeing and of course the American Airlines because I um, think uh, they have the, the licensing for it very, very nice as you can see the officially licensed product for American Airlines and this aircraft here was released in 2022 as I mentioned this aircraft was released in the June release alongside the Lufthansa Cargo 777 freighter if you haven't yet seen the unboxing of this model here alongside the the Lufthansa Cargo 777 freighter that arrived damaged go ahead and check out, check out the top right corner right about now the card will be leading you to that video so now that we've done the reading out of the aircraft uh, information and the airline information and showcasing of the box let's go ahead and check out the model and here is the absolutely stunning American Airlines Boeing 777-300ER by Gemini Jets as you can see it is an absolute pure, an absolute gorgeous model and I'm very very happy to be doing the model review of it as I mentioned before so in this part of the video I'm going to be showcasing the model up close to the camera giving you some nice close-up imagery of the details on this model and giving you some nice detailed information about what each of the components on board this aircraft so let's go ahead without further ado go ahead and check out the model so zooming in to, the, uh, to this part of the aircraft and getting the nose into the shot. Here we have in the middle of the shot we can see the outline of the nose cone. Underneath that is an instrument on board called the weather radar that, is, uh, that provides the pilot with imagery in terms of any of the we uh, I mean weather ahead of them. Whether they need to make a decision of whether they dive around the um, any of those weather or ominous weather. Um, in the in the area that they're operating in, so they can um, proceed proceed on the flight plan that they're operating on. Here we have in the middle of the shot. Just here we have the the, uh, the cockpit uh, window wipers there, and here we have the window shields for the um, the cockpit windows as well. Here we have the uh, the la the um, the nose gear with um, some nice details on the the um, the Geared, the nose gear door. I'm not too sure what they, they are signifying. So if anyone can let me know what they are they are meaning, I'm pretty sure that's seven seven dash three. I'm pretty sure that is uh, signifying that it is a triple seven dash three hundred three hundred er. Not too sure what the um seven lima whiskey is standing for. So if anyone uh, that works around American Airlines aircraft can let me know in the comment section below what the what these uh, symbols are or letters um. Uh, meaning that would be great and of course here we have the nose gear as you can see it does roll and of course the strut of the of the nose gear here we have the l1 boarding door and to the right of that is the one of the um one world uh, logos of course american airlines was one of the founding members of the one world alliance and on february the 1st 1999 here we have the eagle emblem of American Airlines. I am quite a fan of um, the American Airlines livery. Of course, this um, was the aircraft type that the American, the, this current livery, uh, was um, was unveiled on. Um, so very very happy to um, have a triple seven in my collection. I, did, I used to have um, a one by uh, Gemini Jet in the past, but of course I did eventually sell that. And replace it with my American Airlines um, 787-9 by um, 
uh, MG models. Haven't you done a model review of that? If you, if you want to see the model review of that um, 787, do let me know in the comments section below and I'll definitely um, go ahead and do it for you guys. Here we have the billboard tiles of American Airlines. Not too sure what this is. A bit, little bit of a um, detail in there. Not too, I think that's just a, a, a smudge of paint or something. Not too sure. Um, uh, here we have here we have the tight phase of American Airlines. Do like do like this livery a lot in 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 these titles. And there is the uh, L two boarding door, the main boarding door of this aircraft. In terms of the passengers that are boarding the aircraft in let's say um, I think it's premium economy economy and of course some business class. I think um, this is this here this uh, door here is mainly for first class and. Uh, business class and, and of course the cabin crew and the pilots on top here we have the beacon light just there in the middle of the shop and here we have the satcom the wi-fi dome very very nicely detailed and here we have the first antenna on top of your large very very cool indeed and moving down we have the the wing light there that is the landing light and that, that uh, shines or illuminates light when the aircraft is landing at an airport. Just, just focus on it. There we go. And here we have the fairing of the aircraft. Uh, the, um, that is the connection of the wing and the fuselage. Very cool indeed. Here we have the overwing, overwing exit. As you can see, that is where you are needing to go if the if there is, is and and I think I guess this this is um, an emergency on ground or or water. Not too sure. Here we have the L3 door, that is of course the emergency exit door, very nice indeed. Here we have the number 2 engine, I believe, or the number 1 engine on this aircraft, of course the GE90. Um, of course there we have the nice close-up imagery of the, the fan blades, very very nice indeed. This is of course is the JC Wings mould, um, so I am a fan of this mould as, as you everyone should be known by now there is the uh the landing gear very very cool i am having a bit of trouble focusing on this video i do do apologize for that and here we have the some nice details of the top of the wing very very nice indeed and just here at the at the tip of the wing we have the red navigation light and of course the right wing tip also known as the Rakelet. Um, and here is some nice uh, details of the flaps of, this, of the aircraft. Very, very cool indeed. Moving down, we have the L4 door. That is um, not really a, 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 like a catering door or anything else. I think it's just a, a door for um, it, it, uh, another emergency exit door, I think. Here we have... Um, one some more antennas on top of the fuselage um of course there is uh one there and there is another one behind it and below the cabin windows not too sure why i'm having so much tr trouble focusing on this aircraft um here we have the american flag and there is the registration november 736 alpha tango and seven lima whiskey below the registration. I'm not too sure what that is. Um, is that some sort of um, air, um, aircraft tower number or something? I'm not too sure. Uh, as I mentioned before, do, do let me know in the comments below if you know what that is signifying. And here is the L4, sorry, the, the, the L5 boarding door. Let's see. Um, one, two, three, four, five. This is the L5 boarding door. My, my apologies for that. Um, somewhat of a, uh, a boarding door when this aircraft is being boarded by um, the ground at, at an airport. Um, very cool. And there's somewhat of an air vent, not sure. And here is the beautiful tail fin, the tail colours on this aircraft. Perhaps I'm, I'm zoomed in a bit too much. There we go. Very, very nice indeed. I do love the American Airlines livery a lot. Um, as you can see, the tail fin is in the colours of the American flag. Um, of course, the blue is signifying the stars, and of course, the red is signifying the stripes. Very, very nice. I do like it a lot. Of, a lot. And here is the APU, once again. Uh, having trouble with the focusing. 
So the rear power unit just there, as you can see, we're very nice indeed. Here is the elevators of this aircraft, or the, hor the horizontal, horizontal stabilizers. In the middle of the shot there you can see the tail light just there, or uh, well, the logo light that illuminates light on, onto the tail fin at night time, or during night operations, given the uh, ATC somewhat of an uh, identification of what the uh, operator of the aircraft, aircraft is, of course that means the airline, so in this case it would be American Airlines, and somewhat of a marketing tool in terms of um, advertising for uh, people that are within an airport or uh, on the outside of, of the perimeter of an airfield. And there is another uh, tail light or logo light on the up other side of the aircraft, uh, other side of the aircraft that you can just see in the in the middle of the shot there. Very cool. So just going to uh, swing the model around, showcasing this side of the aircraft now. Let's get the nose in the shot. There we go. Lost it for a moment there. And here we have the nice nose shape of the triple seven. As you can see, it is a very very nice model. Um, and here we have this side, we have the four baggage compartment. Not too sure why I'm having so much issue with the focusing of, of this aircraft. Perhaps it's because of the aircraft being so light, and um, maybe that might be do that might be doing it. Um, here we have this side um, engine, of course the GE90, I think this, this is the number two engine I think. And moving down the wing here, you can see the the green navigation light just there. Yep, I am having trouble with this one, guys. I'm sorry. Um, there we go. There is the green navigation light. Here we have the rear, the uh, the rear baggage compartment. Maybe it's because of the lighting in my room as well. And the fact that the airport mat in the background is pr pretty much a similar colour. Here we have the rear baggage compartment and another some another little baggage compartment there. And here we have the tail fin on this side. Very, very beautiful indeed. So looking at the bottom of the aircraft momentarily, I'm going to do my best showcasing th this part of, of the, uh, the model. So here we have... The, the numbers 773, 77-3, there we go, I'm just going to find that this that, is a 777-300ER, I know that part. Here we have the white out, outline of the where the nose gear door is, and some nice detailing on the bottom of the aircraft, as you can see moving down the aircraft momentarily. Here we have the no, the anti collision beacon on the bottom of the aircraft, the stand hole. Nice details of this uh, this aircraft's landing gear doors. And just there in the middle of the shot you can see the red the red rectangle that is where the Rambia turbine would be, otherwise known as the RAT, used in the event of um, either an emergency or in testing. Here is the Gemini Jets logo, very nice. Going down the wing here has some nice details of the landing gear as I probably didn't show you guys but here we have the landing gear is um, rolling and tilting here we have some nice details of the GE90 moving down the wing here very very nice and on the other side of the aircraft you can see on this wing you can just make it out having some problems with this with this as well my apologies um, here we have the rear biggest compartment and the APU at the end here. Very, very cool. So that would do it for the main part of this video, the model review of the American Airlines Bone 777-300ER by Gemini Jets. If you enjoyed what you saw, go ahead and uh, give this video a like. And of course, if you are new to the channel, welcome. And of course, go ahead and subscribe to the channel below. Did the bell icon, bell icon next to the subscribe button for notifications for future content on this channel, including the model review of the Japan Airlines one world 787-9 by ng models and of course a brand new uh, airport update for the channel airport update number 16 for the channel um if you want to go ahead and support me on my social media platforms i've got instagram facebook twitter i'm part of a discord server I have a new website for the for my airport and of course soon enough 
coming very soon to the show, social scene is my Patreon account. So I've got on my Instagram page is of course there is the uh, the um, the airport Instagram page that is the main uh, place for where I post everything in terms of my ins and outs of my airport. All the news, all the updates, all the photos, all the videos of my model collection. Go ahead and su to uh, support me on there. On uh, also on Instagram, I got my infinite flight page, and of course the uh, the livery designs of where I showcase all the custom uh, livery designs that I make on Photoshop. And of course, as well on Instagram is my plane spotting um, uh, page. Want to go ahead and check out those? All, all, all the links will be in the, in the description below. Uh, Facebook and Twitter is basically where I showcase everything in terms of Instagram and YouTube content, uh, in terms of Astro Productions. Astro Productions is the one whole pl parent uh, platform in terms of everything I do on uh, social media. Want to go ahead and check out those? Oh, they will be below the Instagram links. If you want to come along and join an aviation based Tiscal server, the Global Aviation Alliance is where you need to come along and join. Uh, I'm in there, and of course, a, bu a great bunch of aviation enthusiasts. What we're doing there, basically, we basically talk about everything aviation, models, plane spotting, favorite aircraft, favorite airlines, favorite travel experiences. Come along and join us there. If you want to come along and join me on that, on that uh, Discord server, do let me know in the comment section below and I'll pass it on to one of the admins for your application process to begin. I have a new website for the airport, uh, the S sjairport.com. I'm going to go ahead and check out the the, the website uh, and the utmost professional viewing of the website. Go ahead and check the website out via either a PC or a laptop. As of course, the website is not yet compatible for a mobile device. And working my way around uh, getting the uh, website um, viewable via a mobile device in terms of my um, standards, in terms of uh, professional viewing. So do stick around for that. And soon enough, in the social scene, as I mentioned, will be the Patreon account. That is where you could possibly support me in terms of my mon model collection and, of course, um, support me in terms of providing me with... Uh, the funds to uh, afford like a, a high high class um, video editing software in terms of like like uh, Adobe After Effects or Final Cut Pro to uh, provide you guys with uh, better content in terms of uh, intros, uh, background music, and of course uh, like some sort of like better outros etc. Um, so that would be great. So soon, soon enough in the it would be the Patreon account. So look out for that. Uh, all the news in terms of Everything in terms of the websites, the Patreon account, the uh, ins and outs of everything I do social media wise will, is all announced and uh, updated on the Instagram page. Go ahead and, and support me on there. I would love to see your support. So now that we've come to the end of the video, I'd like to thank you very much for coming along and joining me for the model review of the American Airlines Boeing 777-300ER by Gemini Jets. Soon enough, on the left hand side will be my most recent video, which was of course the model review of the Thai Airways International Boeing 747-400 by JC Wings. On the right hand side will be the full playlist of model reviews I've done so far on the channel. In the middle is where you can subscribe. But until next time guys, fly safe, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.